Hey guys, I'm going to send fan to you in that. What is the benefit of having back is mod in your Rocket League? But before getting into the video, please use code GamerCenterFan_YD in the Rocket League item shop if you guys want to support me. It really helps me a lot. So guys, what back is mod do is like when you press F2 on your keyboard, this kind of a menu opens. Like this kind of a menu opens and then you guys can choose different modes from here. So first of all, let me just start with the inventory. So you can just like click on items over here and you can pretty much get any item in the game that you want. So for example, if you want titanium white octane, you can just go on to the paint over here and just do like titanium white. There are also much more paints like uh, like different than the normal ones. So there are also like white gold, which makes your car like a British golden. And also there is platinum. Uh, which is like more whiter than the titanium white or something and so uh, Ongzi and the black one so these are all the paints that you have in this one so I'll just put it titanium white and also if you want any decal in the game for example if you want like if you want the dissolver you can put the dissolver over here and if you uh, it is not paintable so you can't paint it but if there is some paintable decal you can also paint it and also you can get a pure black car just from right here and if you want to make your like change your wheels so if you want titanium white zombas you can do that also so just type in the zombas and the type just type in the titanium white over here and you can get yourself the titanium white zombas so like that you can do it with everything also you guys can do it with the gold explosion so you can also uh, like put dueling dragons gold explosion and also tit in titanium white you can do that also so like you can pretty much change everything of your car like but if you want a titanium white fennec for that what you have to do is you must own a fennec if you don't own a fennec you can't do titanium white fennec so that's a sad thing about it but otherwise if you own a fennec you can do it titanium white so now let's move on to the other uh, like the other settings that is the quick setting like the other thing that it can do so you can change different modes over here like for example you, when you go on to the free play training when you go on to the free play training then you press f2 then over here you guys can choose different modes so if you choose air dribble mode then it will say applied and then when you close it and you play and you press right d-pad then the ball will come towards you just like that and you can do air dribble and also when you press the up d-pad the ball will come away rolling so for example you want to go on to the wall to air dribble uh, then you can also press like uh, when you go on to the wall example like let me just go on to the wall then you can just press the down d-pad and then the ball will just start just like that so you can just press down d-pad for that and also when you press the left d-pad the ball will go like uh, away from you and you can just start doing your air dribble and that's pretty much it so now you can just choose another mode that you want if you want to choose normal mode then you can just click on it and then there are there is this mode well, when you click on up the pad the ball is on you like right above your head so you can just do dribblings and also when you click on right d pad the ball comes rolling when you click on like the down d pad the ball just bounce away like that just bounce randomly over here and there and when you click on the left d pad then the ball goes away to the nearest ceilings like not the ceiling like uh, any wall or ceiling it can be a wall it can be a ceiling so it just goes away on a wall or a ceiling and just touches it and then come back to you and you can score so there are different types of mode guys so uh, like this only you can explore all the modes and when you go on to current game over here you can control your game speed your gravity and all that you can also disable boost or do unlimited boost and also you can change your free play settings like for example you can get like uh, you can enable or disable the goal scoring you can uh, like car color flip indicator means like uh, when you flip it will indicate that you have gotten a flip for example in the flip reset and also like in the jump sounds for example there is a sound when you jump that sounds will be like you can switch them off and also you, you can see how much boost you use like in the air dribbles for example if you turn this on and you can see that how much boost you are using so as you guys can see it's filling up over here and you can see that how much boost you are using like that and you can use normal normal stadium colors use normal car colors and all that stuff and also uh, you can show goal score speed like how much speed the goal has scored this is also very helpful and also uh, when you go on to custom training you can edit the custom trainings also like 
you can use free play map for custom training and all but the best thing about is is that you can enable goal blocker like goal what goal blocker does is like let me just show you for example i go into a custom training for example i go into the wall to air dribble then what the goal blocker does is that when you just enable goal blocker then you can edit the goal blocker and you can just draw like circles or any stuff or squares you can just draw them and then once you draw them you will have to restart your training so just restart it just exit to main menu and after that you guys can just go on to the training and you can just restart it and now we, as you guys can see on the goal there is a hole and the rest of the part is covered so like if the ball goes in the rest of the part like then your goal won't count so as you guys can see i scored in the rest of the path so the ball did not go in so this can like if you are want to make your accuracy better you can do this so you can just score a ball in the top right or in the middle of wherever you want to place it so that's pretty helpful and also you what you can do uh, is like once you have Bacchus mod you can click left and right right d-pad to switch between different levels so as you guys can see when i press right d-pad i can go on to level three and when i press left d-pad i can go on to level two and for example this is like a small training pack but for the larger training packs when you do this then you can it is pretty helpful because like first you can do some like 25 levels and then do re the rest 25 levels so that's also pretty helpful and also what it can do is like when you go on to the ranked you can show mmr in q menu so it means that when you are in the game you can see mmr like uh, when you are uh, when you when i start the game i will be able to see the mmr of my opponent so what if you don't know what mmr means it's match making rank rating so uh, like it means like how much rating you have in your match making so like you will be matched with the player having the same rating like similar rating. not exactly the same but it will be uh, similar to the rating of you so for example i have 793 rating it shows here but for you it won't show without Bacchus mod and after that uh, once you once it shows it you can also use pov goal replay so as you just saw in the training those are called point of view goal replays so when i do anything like if i like just choose a training pack i'll just use vault to air dribble so when i do the air dribble And then after doing the air dribble you guys as you guys can see the replay it is not the same as the usual it is the point of view replay so it shows my point of view and in the in like in real games also you will see a point of view replay only so that's what it does and also what you can do is you can automatically say gg that means after the game it will just type gg and also it can save all your uh, competitive replays your tournament replays and also save all your replays if you want like if you kind of forget to save the replays and also the anonymizer does like anonymize openness if you don't want to see the name it will just anonymize it so it's pretty self-explanatory and when you go on to misc so it means miscellaneous you can just enable notifications you say input buffer enable developer console but the main thing over here is that you can draw your system time so as you guys can see in the top right there is time like because of the fps counter i can't see it properly but as you guys can see there is the time and also you can draw fps counter that means here fps will be written so i don't like this one i prefer the in-game one so i uh, turn this off and also you can equip alpha boost alpha boost is as you guys already know that is the most famous boost of the game and everyone wants it so also you can remove new items icon in garage and all this stuff so that was it for today's video guys please like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one